You guys ever see Deck the Halls? Matthew Broderick, Danny DeVito, Kristen Clark, Kristen Chenoweth, Alia Shawkat, Fred Armisen. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Matthew Broderick plays an ophthalmologist and Danny DeVito moves in across the street and annoys him by building the world's largest display of Christmas lights. Shenanigans ensue. They do cuddle naked in that movie, but it's only to war. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, fine. Matthew Broderick gets in a sleigh that's pulled by two horses with antlers duct taped to their heads, and then they take off, and he ends up on a, on a lake with a little bit of thin ice on it, and then the sleigh falls through the ice, and he wakes up like all pale and cold, and Danny DeVito has to warm him up naked uh, by cuddling him to get his body heat up. You know what's crazy, by the way? I watched, a, and I'm, I'm not suggesting anything untowards here. I watched Apollo play Bandle. Really, all the dolls. And he doesn't even have a camera on, and nobody ever accuses him of cheating for getting the right answer. I got my camera on. You can see my eyes laser locked to the dolls, to the monitor. And then if I get it right, people are like, I saw you glance. And I'm like, brother, look at the... I'm laser focused. Hang on. I got to... I should be sitting here. And then the camera should be... I don't want to move. Because this is the most ergonomic way to sit at my desk. So which way does the camera have to move? Honestly, I don't care if it's off-center. I do care if the tree is not in the, in the frame, though. That'll work. Hi, Tomo. Okay, 1976. 373 million views. Does sound like head. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Baby, please don't go. Ow, 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 ow. Please don't lead Zeppelin. It's not on there. Okay, skip me then. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, okay. I, I'm gonna know, I, I need to just, that bass line, the, the chord chain should be so obvious. Just give me a second to filter through the library. I'm going to go bass one more time just to hold it. I'm going to know. I'm embarrassed I don't know it yet. Let's see on guitar. Hotel California. Donkey, donkey, donk. Of course, that's the 2013 remaster. That's why I didn't get it. Cause they re they added that funky ass bass part in the 2013 version, bro. That's the remastered bass line. Do 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 do. Christmas music for the worst sports bar of all time. Sucking a dick that the hotel California -na 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 -na. What a nice surprise You know what I'm saying? Did you see Leonard Cohen, Hallelujah, Skibbity Toilet? Why does that sound like um, one of those tweets on Top Trending where you click, you're like, I wonder why this is trending and then you click on it and it's some blue check from India that's tweeting like a video of a, a Bollywood celebrity, but then it just has every trending hashtag underneath it. Donald Trump, Seattle, Kraken, Skibbity Toilet, 
blah, blah, you get the idea. Someone in chat said, you should check out Ember Ward. It's a roguelite tower defense game. It's rogue tower meets Tetris. And I said, that sounds amazing. Then I go to this Steam page. Release date coming soon. Like, why would you do this to me? Why would you? Hey, you should fucking check out Dune 2. It looks really good. I will check out Dune 2. When it exists, shit doesn't exist, bro. There's a demo? Yeah, but last time, well, actually, last time was Backpack Battles. But there was a time recently, and I'm not putting you on blast, Toasty. Toasty said, hey, you got to check out this game. It's a Punch-Out! inspired indie game. I played the demo. The demo was three seconds long. They like, you beat the tutorial, and it's like added to your wish list. Would you like to play the tutorial again? Maybe today's the damn game, or the damn day, where we check out Astria. Six, I can't fucking say it. Astria, Six-Sided Oracles. Is a listen to this music, man. I don't know if... My shit is so slow. <laughs> is it a JRPG? It has that kind of vibe to the art, which is fine. I don't mean that in a negative way. By the way, have you seen how good bait is getting on Twitter? It's crazy, man. Did you see the, you know, the um, Nighthawks at the diner? It's, I forget what it's actually called. Is the painting called Hawks at the diner? What is painting with people? It's just called Nighthawks. I got the exact part wrong. By painting by Edward Hopper. If you haven't seen it, you know it, okay? It's uh, a seminal work of art from 1942. Meant to be evocative of the loneliness of living in a city where paradoxically you're surrounded by people. Somebody made bait where they said, check out how amazing... AI is like look at this painting you can barely see any of the people in it and it looks so dark what's their story and then like by the time they had used AI to rework it it became like six bearded millennials enjoying mimosas on a sunny brunch patio and people were losing their minds they were like you stripped all the spirit out of the art Average AI bro doesn't understand what the reason that people make art and, and yeah, it's a tr they're trolling bro. They're trolling hating Shitty AI art is based, but we gotta You know check ourselves before we wreck ourselves We gotta only call out the true believers. We can't be out here falling for for bait non-stop it, it calls our intelligence into question any true believers in chat? Yo, chat, is this real? Picture of a anime schoolgirl chopping a dragon in half with a sword in a high school gymnasium with a basketball court behind her? Fuck it. We'll do it live. Here we go. Astria, six-sided oracles. Yo, <laughs> chat, is this real? Mexican alien made of concrete. Listen. I've said my piece on that. I don't think I need to say my piece on that again. Lewd Jim, roguelite, not safe for work, hentai sexual content, demon girl sticking her tongue out and drooling on the main menu screen. Let me see, roguelite, lewd Jim. Okay, please mute the trailer immediately. In this gym, you will training with cute monster girls and accept the orgasm control training. Fucking exciting, isn't it? What the hell are you, why are you shouting? The developers describe the content like this. All character depicted are over the age of 20. Content warning. Special operations unit Lewd Jim contains sex, blowjob, furry, Fudanari monster, monster girl content. <laughs> so, dude, you can't, I gotta, I gotta tell Steam, I gotta stop telling Steam I'm over the age of 18. I gotta, like, put parental controls on my own store. I don't want to see this shit. I can't show you what's on the screen right now. As a normal human male, you entered a gym managed by several monster girls. Here you must obey their instructions as they put you under the... I don't know why I'm using my Price is Right voice. 
Here you must obey their instructions as they put you under the most rigorous libido and ejaculation management fitness program. Only one discharge per week and nothing more with a unique card-based combat system. Somehow that's the most unbelievable part. You play your cards to achieve the best training result. Cute girls, elf, orc, devil, wolf woman, Frankenstein, Azura. Six charming monster girls will training you in this gym. Unique card rules. Holy cow, this shit is... They're laying it on too thick, man. I don't want... Who's... Ah, listen, whatever. Top review. Giga Chad face. I'm just working out. <laughs> the art is good and the voice sounds amazing. However, I couldn't say much, but the game isn't fun to play. Has stupid mechanics and it's boring. I had 51 shield for fighting that orc at level 3 and all shields were eliminated in a single attack. The testosterone increased from 169 straight to 210, 92 damage in one single attack. Every day takes about 10 minutes if you don't use control to skip. Such a pain. Why? Just because I wasn't lucky enough to get the card to remove debuff or the developers never tested their own games? Maybe the latter. I really don't want to waste hours playing a game like this just to get three poses per characters. For some reason, the furry characters only have two regular poses instead of three. I'm not sure if any furry lovers will purchase this $10 game for just those two CGs. It seems other normal human players have to date those two characters to beat the game. Not something unacceptable, but I'm curious of the purpose of this. And that furry girl in her human form is at the start of the group CG. Then why wasn't she a human in the beginning? Or make her a furry the whole time? Who are you selling the game to? Oh, and those two characters aren't even in the menu, but I have to see her furry feet every time I need an upgrade? Real nice. Sorry, I lied. Fuck you. What the hell are you talking about, brother? Are you okay? The classic gym routine. Go to the gym, drink your protein shake, have a card fight with your trainers, fuck your trainers, and then you become a furry lover. Dot, dot, dot. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. This is crazy, man. I gotta play this. I'm going to kick! I'm taking my talents to kick! Okay, Astri, uh, six-sided oracles. There we go. Add that to my cart. Hey, it's on sale for 10% off for the next 30 minutes. Enter your pin below to exit family view. You know the shit I just saw when I was supposedly in family view? The parental controls don't work, Gaben. By the way, I don't know if this makes me um, based or whatever the opposite of based is. Based for the group of people who you don't agree with, I suppose. Anytime a game asks me if we can collect analytics for balancing purposes, I say no immediately. You, you do not have my permission to collect anything. Sorry. First off, I don't really want the game to be balanced. That's not my business, that's your business. Secondly, they're my results. I don't want my results muddying the, the waters for every other player. Not base, not cringe, just normal. All right. The time has come. I broke down. We're playing a new-ish, it's about six days old, roguelite dice builder. It's not a deck builder. Don't click off the video just yet. Instead of drawing cards, editor's note, you may also draw cards. You manipulate, you roll and manipulate dice in order to kill enemies in a Slay the Spire inspired game. Fun for all ages, 8 to 80. Let's start a new game and maybe learn how to play it. Character complexity, one of six. They're an academic. Of course, their Astrarium is Noctuan Grimoire, but I didn't have to tell you that. Coming from a lineage of scholars, Mooney has always searched for the lost knowledge of the star system. Her Astrarium has been passed down through generations as a family relic. With her wisdom, she's capable of improving dice and turning adversity into an advantage. I'll play with Mooney. Chat, write that down. Chat, is this real? Oh, my Astria, what am I supposed to do? What's happening? My dear friend got corrupted. There is nothing I can do. I can't save her. Wait, Chad. Is this one of those games? Corrupted, ironically, is a word that's become corrupted in and of itself. It's not one of those games. You didn't trick me, did you? All right, you're doing two damage to me. You need to use these dice to purify your enemies back to normal. 
Enemies also roll dice, but they roll the same dice each turn. After you play all your actions, enemies will activate the actions they roll. These are the main actions of our world. Purify and corrupt. Purify decreases corruption. Corrupt is the opposite. It increases corruption, meaning it heals enemies and damages you. Note that corrupt actions have a red outline. Actions with a red outline are considered mandatory actions and need to be used before you end your turn. Therefore, you must use all corrupt actions before you end your turn. But if your corruption meter gets fully filled, you will lose one heart. If you lose all your hearts, you will become corrupted and lose the game. Let's try to purify her. Okay, it's just that easy. All enemies have an over-corruption meter. When they receive corruption, they get healed, but their over-corruption also increases. Once an enemy's over-corruption meter gets fully filled, they will get over-corrupted and activate the action attached to it immediately. I think you will need to use all your Astrarium power to purify her. As one of the six-sided oracles, you have the power to use corruption in your favor. Attached to your corruption meter are actions called virtue. Brother, just let me put my credit card into the game and start pulling five-star generals, okay? I'm just, let me take a little hydration break. Oh, my Astria. I was so scared, but you did it. She's back. Oh, dear. I got corrupted again. It's not the first time? But I didn't need your help. I'm sure I would be able to purify myself at any time. You were doomed. You were about to... It's fine. It's fine. The important book. You gotta go to the Crimson Realm. Go find the Bell Keeper. If you bring me some blue stuff, we'll, give, we'll unlock the next achievement for you. It's all abstracted dopamine as far as the eye can see, okay? I'll confirm on the Purify++, plus plus, please. Choose a die. Convert. Convert one die in your hand. Change any die with Corrupt into Purify. Twilight Sigil. Apply three Twilight Sigil. Camp creatures with Twilight Sigil receive X Purification whenever it dies converted. Uh, <laughs> manipulate. Convert up to two dice from any target until end of enemy's turn. Convert one die. Deal three corruption to everybody. That seems risky. Let's go safe Mooney on this one. Yeah, congratulations to uh, Hot Boy Toke. Got notice first in a tweet from Librarian that said Hot Boy Toke is the most unhinged chatter. When they mentioned that Jenny Tight Pants was going to do an ass reveal at 100,000 followers, a sentence that I don't even really understand the meaning of. That then got noticed by Twitter user Jenny Tightpants, who said, what the hell is this? Who then people were like, someone replied, you might be here by the way, please don't embarrass me. You replied and you said, why are you pretending to not know who NL is? He's like a cultural icon for the last decade and I'm only one quarter joking. Come on, man. That's like, you're laying it on a little too thick there. <laughs> I get the idea that it seems like unbelievable, but I wanted to... I am just going to let the interaction stay with me not being a part of it because it's cringe energy for me to get involved, but you got to stop embarrassing me, man. That's like... That's way too thick. That's too much. It's okay for someone to not know who I am. That's totally fine. You don't need to be up there in the mentions. I, I get you weren't being mean about it, but still. Deals three corruption to a random target. I gotta assume that was me. That's gonna mean me. Enhance a dime. You know, one purification to any target. One additional purification for each card converted this turn. Well, in that case, we would like to roll into a red if possible. What are you, you and you're an enhancer? We should just be smart and like enhance one die from any, it has, what, what? Enhance one die from any target. Increase a die with any type of purify action from value one to value six. Deals one purification damage. It's not a purify action. How can dealing one purification damage to any target not be a purify action? It doesn't make any sense. The name would be Purify. Purify this. Hear me out. Four damage to you, which also does one to us. Eleven damage to you, which also does one to us, which lets us draw another dice. Hang on, we're cooking. Heal myself for one. Do two to you. 
lets me draw another dice. Heal myself for three. Hit you for three, which lets me hit you for four. And then hit you for one, which lets me draw another dice. I need to do enough damage to kill you though, or to not die myself. <laughs> Convert one die from your hand until the end of the enemy's... No, I'm, I'm gonna lose a heart. But we were going, we were temporarily going infinite there. All right, well, I'll end my turn and take one heart of damage. But I heal all my hearts and I beat the boss anyway. Holy. There's no such thing as temporary infinite. You just don't get it, do you, Scott? Anyway, you're dead slash purified. Hey, not, that was important. It was important to lose that heart. Now I understand the pogificity of the game. Mind explaining the pogificity to the class? I'm at the point where I'm starting to understand it, but I'm not at the point where I can explain it to you yet. Just watch the dice rattle around, and when you hear me pog, you can pog. Or go watch a 90-minute video essay on the brand, power, and pricing of Pokimane's cookies if your attention span's too shot from watching big booty TikToks all day. It's like Slay the Spire if every card was a deck. It's a great way to describe it. I'm enjoying the game so far, but I don't necessarily mean that in a complimentary way. <laughs> so like Slay the Spire, if you thought Slay the Spire was too simple, you enjoy the elegance of Slay the Spire, check out Astria, Six-Sided Oracles. Every card is a deck. Every, every side is a damn card. My dumbass who finally understands backpack battles finally tuning into the most complicated game of all time. The worst part, I'm, I'm having a good time, honestly. It's scratching some itches in my brain. The worst part is that people will fucking like lie to you. They'll be like, it's not as complicated as it looks. No, it's like exactly as complicated as it fucking looks. This shit is confusing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm working on it, okay? We don't really care to re-roll this, I think. I'm, I'm happy where we stand on that one. We're about to take three. Oh, never mind! <laughs> I've defeated the smoldering beast. Corruption purified. Oh, what the heck? Collect all? This might take us an hour to get through here. The hell is this? Choose a new sentinel. A shiny ray of hope for everyone. My le dice, it kills people? I'm lost, just Joel me. It does seem like one of those games, this one I mean non-derogatorily, very fun to play, not necessarily a ton of fun to watch someone else play. I'm having fun and I understand. Don't lie to the people. We use Two rerolls. Draw a dice. Convert an enemy action, please. That's. Use a reroll on this, and let me see. Do I see some ones in there? Honestly, that's just too much for me to read, quite frankly. One, 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 one. Destroy this die. One. Okay, honestly, these are like free rerolls. Convert an enemy's action. No, convert a die in your hand for the rest of the turn. I want to convert the enemy. Which one converts the enemy's action, bro? Wait, destroy this die. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Huzzah. So true. You know there's a monster in My Singing Monsters that says huzzah? Dude, I gotta tell you. I don't want to brag. I'm not saying I'm like the best My Singing Monsters player in the world. Lit my wish torch last night, my wishing torch on Plant Island. Put a T-Rex and a pot belly in there. Press the breed button. Wait 18 hours, brother. You got a rare Ent Brad egg. Are you kidding me, man? Could somebody calculate the odds on that? I don't know what kind of rare Ent Brad it's going to be. I got to wait like 36 hours for it to pop out of the damn incubator, but... Can you spend money not to wait? 
You can. I'm not going to, though. Speaking of Type B viewers, I picked up exactly two bananas from the grocery store yesterday. That's fine. If I can be honest with you, you're only robbing yourself. I, what I'm realizing with this whole can you or can you not split bananas discourse is that there's actually two kinds of people in this world. My problem was that I didn't know that the second type existed. What are the two types of people in the world? Some people, when they write down their grocery list, write down bananas. I need bananas. That's always been me. And some people write down three bananas, which I have never been in a situation where I've needed X number of bananas. My banana consumption has scaled to the number that are in the bunch when I buy it. I've never had a recipe that's like, I need exactly, you know, 75 grams of bananas. But the fit, it doesn't really matter. It's okay either way. If bunches were 10, would you buy them? Right now, I'm eating two a day on the damn Peloton, but I understand that's kind of an edge case. So I would probably still buy a 10 banana bunch, yeah. Please shut up about splitting them. You can split them, it's no big deal. I find it a little annoying, but you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come totally sell you out for it. You could be a splitter, you could be a non-splitter. The only th the thing that irritates me so much is that the people who split bananas start to do like, they treat non-splitters as a moral hazard. Oh, unlike the, the gluttons buying five bananas at a time, I don't like food waste. You must love food waste if you're buying five bananas. No, no, it's not, it's not the case. What I do is I eat them because it takes about six seconds to eat an entire banana and every one is 70 calories. So it's not going to break your time budget. It's not going to break your caloric budget. They're also 16 cents each. So it's not going to break your economic budget. I just hate the, well, unlike most people, I hate food waste. That's why the only thing that I eat are preservative laden corn based snacks sold in aluminum bags. Okay. That's all for you. More power to you. Just like, why don't you debate me on merit? instead of, you know, trying to throw some subtle ad hominem attacks out there. Splitting the grapes? I find splitting the grapes more detestable, but I have seen it done. Splitting bananas is like a one, one star crime in Grand Theft Auto V. Splitting grapes is like a two star crime. Now, this is within the level of the grocery store. Three star crime, sampling the food out of the bulk section, like you pull the lever to put to fill up your plastic bag and then like who knows if maybe like a handful of corn nuts make it into my mouth instead of onto the scale. Anyway, I shouldn't have talked about it because now I've lost direction. <laughs> Refresh lets you lose all your virtues. How did I get it though? If three dice are converted in a single, did I convert three dice in a single turn? Am I the best to ever do it? Is that what you're saying to me? I don't care, pass turn. You got that dog in you? I could have told you that. A lot of you guys don't get it. You can use more than one slurp juice on a single ape. Remember those days? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Remember when people were saying things like Pepperidge Farm remembers all the time? I'm happy I was on the right side of history for that one. I don't think I've ever said that. Mm, I don't want to say I've never said that in my life. I might not be able to back that one up. But I never enjoyed saying it and I never inhaled. That's a Family Guy meme? I was about to insult it and call it a South Park meme. My dad still does the Ding Fries Are Done song. You gotta be careful what you imprint on comedically as like a, a teenager or a young adult because it does stay with you for life. Like I, I can still do Anchorman quotes and sling out some Napoleon Dynamite rhetoric with the best of them. That's why your media diet has to be on point because that stuff stays with you forever. Do you see the picture of Joe Biden blowing out the candles on his birthday cake and this shit is like a raging inferno? 
Should have just gotten one candle that said 81 on it, man. 81 can that's that must have been hot as fuck in that room. He did it as a joke? Listen, I don't know if he did it as a joke. Because did you also see the video of him saying it's harder to get than a ticket to the Renaissance tour? Oh, uh, wait, uh, I'm talking about Britney. It's really hot down in Argentina right now. <laughs> it's really hot down in Brazil right now. Oh, man. You could say even this harder than getting a, a ticket to the Renaissance tour or, or, or Britney's tour. She's down in, it's kind of warm in Brazil right now. Joe Biden be like, you owe me three dollars. My friend said if you get punched in the solar plexus, you can die of a heart attack. Is that true? Chad, is this real? I think this could probably be true. Isn't that how Harry Houdini died? Didn't he have like a big burrito bowl for lunch and then someone punched him right in the stomach? Ripped the tortilla? We're cooking up something. Man, this is an elite fight. This ain't your granddad's fucking slay the spire, okay? This is, like, actually challenging. I wouldn't expect you to understand it. What the fuck you mean, baked beans ain't number one? Oh, man. Every time. Timeless. Choose one die with a non-mandatory action to be discarded. If you what the what are you talking about, man? What the hell are you saying to me? There's, and then you got more for me. Gain one serenity. I lie. Do like drawing. I do like drawing cards. I would take a risky neutral on this one. When you have one heart, deal a two additional purification. Increase purification on blah blah. At the first draw phase of each battle, draw one extra die. That's a gimme. I said double barrel shotgun. Is that good or no? Listen, you're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> what in the DAE am I looking at? <laughs> I mean... It's, it's not an easy... It's a complicated game, okay? It's a complicated game. What is this? Apply two ruin to an enemy? It must be done. It must be done. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I've invested three hours in one run. Don't kill me. You got corrupted. <clears throat> you killed me. All right, well, that's Astria's six-sided oracle. I'm going to be honest with you. It seems great if you're looking for a very complex dice deck builder it's too complex for me to play on stream it's never coming back there's just like the runs are too long the complexity is too high good game not a good stream game i got i got corrupted i get more experience after the corruption too solarius the time you don't no, no no you don't need to add more complexity okay take some take some complexity away <clears throat> slash marker astria they should be taking some of the complexity away, bro. Spellforge will come out soon. That's probably more like it for your speed. Condescending ass way to phrase that. I can already tell you, I need to trust myself more. If your game is called Spellforge, it's not my speed. Also, it came out October 4th, 2016. Your goal is to conquer each realm by defeating the inhabited creatures, including the guardian of the realm. They mean spell rogue. Spell rogue. Spell rogue, okay. Spell rogue is a turn-based deck building roguelike where you cast powerful spells using your mana dice, gain Latin. Nope, it's never gonna happen, bro. It's never gonna happen. Type A viewers, you got what you wanted. Now shut up for the next 120 minutes, okay? I'm going to go to the bathroom. Then we need to find something to satisfy the Type B viewers, and by that I mean myself. I'm going to leave this trailer playing in the background.
it wasn't looping. I came back and restarted it three times because I was eating a granola bar. Hello, Chibli. Hello, Chibli. Chibli, you're cool. Do not let chat trick you into playing Astria six-sided oracles. You will question your entire career. If you like Slay the Spire, there's a new game coming out. No, don't listen to them. Do not listen to them. How about Ember Ward, though? I swear the demo is your speed. Okay, I'm telling you, the Rogue Blender slash user, the Rogue Blender, 999 messages following account created the same day you followed me. Lots of messages that say pog pog. Ads are sad. Okay, so you're a real chatter. This is not chat GPT trying to astroturf to get me to play something. You are staking your life in chat on this demo. It's clutch or kick. If you don't save the stream today, you're banned for life. It's flip it or rip it. Something must be broken in my brain because I, I don't really watch Magic the Gathering content. I'm going to just not say anything after that because I, I mean, the only things that were coming to my head were mean-spirited jokes. I think flip it or rip it is hilarious. And the second reason, the first reason that it's hilarious is because it's funny. The second reason is because the reaction to it is always like the people who play it getting death threats because they're, you ripped up a demonic tutor. Oh my God. Some people out here are saving their allowance for 10 years in order to buy a demonic tutor, but you ripped up the piece of paper. And that's even funnier. Should they be doing it? No. Is it funny? Yeah. Death Must Die is the game you're looking for. I'll stake my sub on it. Is it a new game or is it just Vampire Survivors again? It's Vampire Survivors. Sorry, that's probably not what you sound like. That's rude. It's Vampire Survivors, except you can choose upgrades like Hades. People are saying it's Vampire Survivors mixed with Hades. How is it mixed with Hades? Your ass ain't shooting. You're just walking, bro. It just has a hot lady that appears on the screen when you pick, a, when you pick an ability. Sorry, that was really gross. I tried to make the burp quieter, but it, in doing so, I just made it last a lot longer. Mm. <laughs> it was rated to the mic, too. <laughs> oh, man. I typed Emder Ward again. We got something very unique today. The Rogue Collector, follower of the stream for almost two years and a noted viewer who made their account and followed me on this website on the same day. Nothing sus about that. Let me check my on-ban requests from that day as well. Maybe you, you said some messed up stuff and then we got a freaking sock puppet uh, Smurf account get respawned and now you've changed your ways. But if you're reformed, that's none of my business. Anyway, they said... NL, I'm willing to stake my life in this chat on you enjoying the Ember Ward demo. Now, the game has not come out yet. This is the demo. It has been described to me as Rogue Tower, aka Tower Defense, Rogue Light, mixed with Tetris. Both two things I understand a little bit and enjoy, and I've seen this screen somewhere before, and I respect that. I do. Can I say just immediately? It's permaban versus permapog. So far, so good. You're, the Commodus thumb is like slightly tilted up because it didn't start with like a cutscene that was like, welcome to the realm of Tau area. Uh, an evil wizard is taken over and here's all oh, the sky turned purple and you get the idea. Unless this is when I click on this, it's like, <laughs> it gave me the tutorial right away. Build a maze. The enemies are coming. Drag the wall card onto the field to control the path of the monsters. Wall cards placed during the building phase can be long pressed to be recalled, but once you enter battle, they will be locked and cannot be recalled. Okay, I understand. They're coming out from this side. They're running up that hill. We have 50 gold. That's enough to buy any two towers. And we can also place walls. So we would like to make a, a, a kill box. 
I've never been a huge tower defense guy, but I think we learned more about tower defense playing rogue tower. I'm not a big balloons guy. I never, I mean, the only time I really played balloons was Champions of Fire versus Cobalt. Cobalt is a level 999 balloons wizard. I got rinsed. Now, I don't, oh, there's a timer, there's a timer! Am I crazy? Like, this, this seems to be the best decisions you could possibly make. I don't think we're cooking yet. Well, none of the aliens have made it close to our damn hearthstone. Hasn't even been close. The boss is still de -thawing. You're not even in the kitchen? Final wave. The final wave is incoming. Why, why would I be scared about this? We're, we're cooking them, man! This is an easy level. You want the path to snake back and forth? Listen, <laughs> I understand that. I simply don't know how to manifest it, okay? I think you did fine for your first attempt. I appreciate that. Thank you. You know, it's a small victory. You don't have to be... 10 out of 10, the first... Wait, this, this is gifted children talk, okay? People are like, you're not amazing at something. The first time you try it, just give up. Bro, even you didn't give up until college, okay? Let me have my moment in the sun here. How did he know? Because it's the first time most gifted kids ever encounter any academic strife. Now, socially, usually a little bit earlier, but... Speaking from experience, academically though, you know, you kind of cruise through school until the end of high school and then in college you're like, oh, I actually, I would do a lot better if I worked a little bit, but instead I'm just going to play Civilization 4. Holy, that, dude, hang, they were cooking with this transition. Dude, Jay, are you here? It's got a damn sense of style to it. How about this? It's good. There's not it listen. It's not as good as this. It's still pretty good though. I do like it goes. That's fine. Dude, let me see my talents. Increase the preparation time by 15 seconds. Oh! <laughs> Well, 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 not a, well, that's fine. Are you ready for this? Coin Hunter. Arcane Storm. Holy cow. I'm gonna be rich, bro. I think the chatter is gonna live, boys. <laughs> well, we'll see. VIP them? Well, let's not go crazy. That's that's precious cargo, brother. You can draw too. Oh! This game is made by a Roblox developer. Honestly, Roblox kind of stays winning bigly, huh? Lethal Company, also made by a Roblox developer. Like all those... <clears throat> I don't mean this to be rude. Maybe they're not a kid. I was going to say all those kids who learn programming because of Roblox are now making stuff that's not Roblox. And it's a boon for the whole industry. He's in his mid-40s. Listen, A, there's nothing wrong with that, and B, you don't know that. Final wave. Okay, let's get serious. People keep making fun of my mazes. Yeah, we'll make fun of this bitch. Enjoy your ass walking like a long motherfucking way to get wherever you want to go. It's, it's, look at that, you're taking the long way home, super tramp. And the whole time you're there, you're getting one of those. Probably should have... Let's talk about building like a better missile platform. Now this is a maze. Oh, you said, how is this a maze? You were being toxic. I thought you were being nice. I'm too dusty. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
Now we are encountering a little bit of a frame rate issue here. I think perhaps I've summoned too many arcane missiles. <laughs> it seems like maybe we got some kind of busted combo there. And look, while we're here, how about a little coin hunter? No sweat, bro. See, I told you there was nothing to cry about. Why is this game so easy? It's literally the second level. It's like the, the, the first level of school is like show up. The second level is like learn how to sit down. You think sitting down is hard? They won't, they won't know what hit them in college. In college, you have to sit down cursively. Man, if I could plug that freaking hole right there, this would go insane. Oh, you're fucked, brother. As R.L. Stein said, eat shit and die. But you take a little coin hunter on that. And then you know what? Do we have another? Oh, we got many two by two. I'm a, I'm a missile Andy. He said that, brother. It's like the third uh, book in the series. It's one of the first things R.L. Stein said. He would never say that. He said it. I was there in 1972 when he wrote the first Fear Street book. I was there when he invented Slappy. I said, put him in a suit. It'll be scarier that way. I was there. Okay, one second. I mean, I'm probably overspending on cards, but I'm living for it. Cards are cheap. Bro, I was paying 30 bucks a card. It was like uh, trying to buy Chandra's Fury when Battle for Zendikar came out. Ulamog is the chase rare in that one. Wrong, bitch. That's re modern revisionist history. The chase rares were the expeditions. You weren't there! You weren't there. Don't talk to me about Ulamog, the unceasing ma. You weren't there? I was, that was the only time I was there, brother. And thank God for that. Call me ceaseless hunger the way I can eat five Subway sandwiches. You will never be the librarian. You mean Chandra's Ignition, right? What, Chandra's Fury, Chandra's Ignition, whatever. Same shit, different day. Chandra's Ignition was 60 cents at release plus it isn't even in the Battle for Zendikar set. Listen, fucking Brian Kibler, just relax, okay? You should be thankful I got the name of a real set and a real card. Like, that's the level of Magic the Gathering intelligence we're working with here. Like, you, you should be like, wow, NL kind of knows more about Magic than I expected. I'm not one of those guys you see with a gray goatee at Friday Night Magic that's like effortlessly bringing up cards from 1997 that did something similar. Anytime a, a new set spoilers got posted, it'd always be some dude with a, his name and on Reddit would be like Pascal Case, like fantasy character that he made himself. And it would be like, isn't this just the same as a card from 1992, but now it has a kicker? And you're like, what are you talking about, man? We're in a climate crisis. You're dedicating 95% of the hard drive of your brain to some Richard Garfield shit from 1992? I'm not a Home Alone hater, quite the opposite, but I do want to say, if you'll allow me to pause. Have you seen Home Alone 1 recently? I understand it's only November 21st. I feel like the scene where Kevin steals a toothbrush from the hardware store bothers me for a couple of reasons, okay? Obviously, Macaulay Culkin should not be going up asking the cashier, is this toothbrush approved by the American Dental Association? That's something they can't be expected to know. That's more of a question for the dentist. That being said, Kevin then gets scared of old man Marley and he runs out and they say, like the, the you boy, run after him. And then he runs out and sees a cop. Remember when there used to be beat cops? Anyway, that's a story for a different day. He says, that kid's a shoplifter. And then Kevin runs onto like a, an ice rink where people are skating and the skate blades are going like an inch away from his head. But then it has the worst 
ADR of any scene I think I've ever seen in a movie in my entire life. They definitely brought Macaulay Culkin into the recording studio and had him go, ah! Is that when he opens his mouth and the sound that he's making in the movie is not the sound that he's making in the recording booth. Go, you'll watch it this holiday season and when that scene comes up, you will be like, I see what he's talking about now. And you will apologize to me. And it'll be the best day of my motherfucking life. I'm gonna watch new movies instead. Okay, enjoy Home Alone 4. I'm sure it's a lot better. I've watched Home Alone 30 times and I've never noticed that. You know what else I noticed? Is that Joe Pesci is really like a shit driver in that movie. He almost runs over Macaulay Culkin. There's no traffic on the street and no other pedestrians. How does that happen? I get that it's the 1990s, like people were just kind of like, you know, crashing their car into stuff, but He's talking to Marv? I know, part of being a good driver is not being so easily distracted, Mr. Pesci. They did already make a, a Home Alone, I guess it was like 2021. The Nostalgia Circle Jerk Home Alone, where like Buzz is in the movie. Buzz is like a police officer who was probably beating the shit out of shoplifters for stealing toothbrushes from the general store. It's actually crazy too, cause in, so, Buzz is basically a bully in Home Alone, in case you haven't seen it. It's Kevin McAllister, aka Macaulay Culkin's older brother. He's just not a very nice guy. Now, does that mean that Macaulay Culkin should say some fucked up shit like Buzz your girlfriend woof? No, he still shouldn't be saying that because she didn't do anything. She might be like a totally nice person. But anyway, what's crazy to me is that in home, home Sweet Home Alone, Buzz, the bully, is a police officer. And then when they made A Christmas Story 2, they made Ralphie's bully from that a police officer as well. It's like they're really, the directors are trying to tell us something. <laughs> Hang on, it's based. I thought movies were supposed to be fiction, bro. I didn't expect social commentary from Home Alone. Or a Christmas story, for that matter. Even the Home Alone's gone woke. In this day and age. It really makes you think. It's barely social commentary. It's the most socially conscious movie I've ever seen. Prior to this, my favorite movie of all time was The Flash. Okay? So this is like a big moment for me. This is kind of my awakening to these sort of adult themes in, in major motion pictures. I mean, I love cinema. Of course, it's one of my, one of my great loves is, is the cinematic arts. That being said, I had never seen a movie until earlier this year when I found out my favorite influencer, Martin Scorsese, actually made a movie. I don't know if it's like a new thing for him or if it's the sort of maybe he's been interested in getting into it for a while. He's been my kind of an influence for me in getting into old talk. I don't know if you know old talk. It's TikTok for the elderly. How about draw like a power up? Any second now. Coin hunter! <laughs> The flamethrower does sound like I'm breathing into the mic. It does sound a little bit like Raindrop versus Mike Glambin. And you know what? I love that for it. <laughs> I wonder if that's how they made the sound. This is a POV. You just joined up with a random party in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on Xbox Live. All we're missing is some dude yelling at his kids. One dude who never talks, but top frags every single lobby, breathing heavily into his microphone. Loud ass music in the background. <laughs> People playing a pornographic video through their shitty Xbox Live headset. So at the start of every 
Project Gotham Racing 2 lobby, all you hear is, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that sounds like something Corey would do. <laughs> oh, it's so true. Back when gaming was good. So true. Boss level. Ahead is the monster guarding the gate, defeated to advance to the next area. The guards of the arrow tower will help you buy some time. Quickly prepare your defenses. You can also use the minecart to weaken the... What the? I build a turret on a minecart, it will automatically charge forward once battle starts. Holy cow. What the heck are you talking about? I really use a little arcane storm on you. It's getting a little spooky up there. Any chance you could shoot? Oh, you're tired. Okay, you're tired. Are you joking? This fire hydra is destroying the entire world and you're like, I'm tired? You're not eepy? You're depressed. You haven't eaten in 12 hours. So true? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe a little problematic. It is hot boy toke after all. Now please tell me the minecart just murks you. I don't know about the... I don't know about the murking. Wrong. I ate some corn chips. You could do worse than that. You could do better. I think you know that, but you could definitely do worse. Oh, hello, hello, I'm back. I don't know, sometimes it just does that. Anyway, I was saying I love uh, that it sounds like someone's breathing into the microphone. It, it brings me back to... Um, just making sure I'm not muted. <laughs> it brings me back to like summer or winter vacation 10th grade. Like all I got to worry about is hopping on MotoGP. It's burning! Our table! It's burning! Oh. <laughs> I thought you can't... You can't resist us, Mr. Powers. Oh, contraire. I think it's you that can't resist me. I touch myself by the Divinos place. You know what I'm talking about. That's Austin Powers. Austin Powers won, by the way. International Man of Mystery, as we call it in the in the AP community. Hey, there's a little joke. Hey, if you're not in AP classes, but you're in high school, if someone you meet is like, hey, are you in AP class? You'll be like, yeah, I'm in AP class. Austin Powers class. Yeah, baby. Should we study now or should we study later? Not good. Yeah, I know. There's nothing I'm not used to. Horrendous? You'd get bullied for that? I'd like to see him catch me. It's like, yeah, you could probably beat my ass uh, if you got the VO2 max to catch me. Unlikely. What's your favorite Coen Brothers movie? I'd have to say Garfield. Back to title. Chatter, you live to fight another day. Ember Ward, I will play the full release when it comes out. Let's see what they said over the course of the... of the stream here. GG, hi, pause, hello, oh no. 
You can fast forward. I wish I read that actually. Block an entrance. You got this. Holy cow. Most supportive chatter of all time. You have got to do today's Wordle. 38 year old GF who somehow still plays Wordle. They're debating whether or not Joe Biden has risen. I just can't with this hell site today. So mean. Listen, I just. Wordle's just. I can't explain it, and I'm not trying to be rude. All I'm going to say is that Wordle has the office energy. And I say that as someone who likes the office. HC Justin says Lamau. He can't agree with me, but that's his way of agreeing. I'm doing the gym stare at you right now. Which one, though? The one where he goes like... Or the one where he goes... The second one. Okay. That one. Or the one where he stares into his eyes while he waterboards you because he works for the CIA now. The Office is popular because it's pretty good. Now, that's an interesting take because I think that's very true. Pretty good things are the most... I don't want to say most popular things are pretty good. But something has a better chance to become outrageously popular if it's pretty good instead of it being great. Because for something to be great... It has to achieve excellence in some categories, which it, it makes it a little spiky, right? Some people are like, like, for example, Midnight Mass. Midnight Mass, better than The Office. Lots of people are like, actually, is it two out of 10? You got hit by the dialogue spikes. And that's fine. That's just, the, it's because it's not made for everybody. The people that love it, love it a lot. The people that don't like it, bounce off. The bear's too spiky because it's stressful to watch. You would not catch me getting stressed out watching fiction. I'm sorry. I don't know if that means I'm neurotypical or neuroatypical. I still think it's crazy that like every time you talk to somebody about uncut gems, they're like, oh, my Apple Watch sent me a fucking notification that was like, you have to go to the hospital. This movie is, your pulse is too high. I'm like, brother, that dude is not real. Like you could care for the character and like find it. I guess, like, interesting, you could be invested, but at the same time, like, just, he could just explode at any moment. More like uncut cocks? Ghibli, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean, more like uncut cocks? I don't know, it gets my heart rate up? <laughs> All right. Good for you? I love that for you. I guess, I, I, I guess we're doing the dulls, man. I, it's been a long time. I fucking hate Tradle, though. <laughs> I, I do. I do. No disrespect to the world economic... Whatever the hell it's called. <clears throat> Flashbang out. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Tradle's on the chopping block. Every once in a while, Tradle has... You know how I know Tradle's washed? Even Joe Weisenthal is tweeting about, like, uh, I think I might be done with Tradle. I'm sick of, like, these tiny Pacific Island nations being the, like, literally every single day. Can we just get, like, one Sweden or something like that? Hey, Ghost Pepper, Ghost Pepper, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Medical instruments, low voltage protection equipment, zinc ore, 3.85% of their export economy is soap. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's rude to laugh at that, but tropical fruits and special pharmaceuticals. <laughs> it's plastic lids. I'm sorry. I'm so essential oils. What's going on here, man? Oh, okay. 2.41% gravel. <laughs> oh, knit t shirts. Shaped paper, brooms, <laughs> and fairground amusements. They sold one Ferris wheel last year. It's 0.15% of the export economy. Okay, I don't know. I have no idea, man. <laughs> it is someone's garage sale. It's like this is the drawer that was uh, just above the knife drawer in my grandma's house. I say this is Solomon Islands. Oh, it's on the it's the other side. Okay. 
15,000 kilometers away. How about a little oh, Easter Island isn't a country? Okay. 15,000. It's Curacao. It's very close to Curacao. Okay. It's, um, it's, it's $30 million. Like for a country, that's not a whole lot, man. It's Dominica. It's Dominica! Never, Trado's not going anywhere! <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, you don't like Tradle? What's it like being stupid? Me from 30 seconds ago. Weekend of July 27th, 1990. Okay, use your brain on this one. Warner Brothers opened at 11 million. Tagline, some people would kill for love. This is fatal attraction. <sighs> Starring Harrison Ford, The Fugitive. Oh, I gotta put a pin in this one. I don't know this one. Paramount Pictures, third week, pretty, pretty good income for 1990. Starring Patrick Swayze, Dirty, da Dirty Dancing? Row, oh, ghost. This is ghost. This is going to be ghost. They wish it was ghost in the shell. Okay, that's a given. Before Sam was murdered, he told Molly he'd love and protect her forever. Now, that's quite the tagline. Usually, the tagline is like, now you see him, now you don't. <laughs> this, this isn't really a tagline. This is the plot of the movie, kind of. Universal. Open to 10 milli. Respectable. Stars John Ritter. Oh, let's fucking look who's talking. Look who's talking you two to me. Look who's talking to. I don't know. Attila the Hun, Ivan the Terrible, Al Capone. They were all seven once. I, I don't know why this exists in my head. This movie is called Problem Child. That's a video store classic right there. <laughs> the movie is not called Young Hitler. <laughs> Thank you, Mom and Dad, for taking me to the video store so much as a kid that for some reason I know that there's a movie called Problem Child starring John Ritter. Oh, man, that shit grows 53 milli at the box office. John Travolta's in Look Who's Talking. I know John Travolta is the voice of the cool baby, but I thought maybe John Ritter was like the normal dad or something. No, the dad is Travolta. Doesn't he do the, do the dad? I thought that John Travolta did the voice. Bruce Willis is the baby. Oh, he came down in a bubble, dog. But yet you can't remember Tanzania, a country of 10 million people. Listen. Movie tickets were like seven bucks in 1990. This grows 53 mil at the box office, 72 million worldwide. More people know about Problem Child in Tanzania. Sorry, the truth hurts. Hollywood Pictures, it gained 1% in its second weekend. That's some stuff you don't see too much in the modern era unless it expanded its number of theaters. Um, the actor is Jeff Daniels. 1990. I don't know it, I think. Eight legs, two fangs, and an attitude. It must be arachnophobia. Okay. I've never seen it. I do like Jeff Daniels, though. Freaking Jeff Daniels, John Goodman, comedy horror. Good movie, good movie. I got to check that out, man. Some people would kill for love. Brian Dennehy Harrison. I think I just don't know it, honestly. Rusty Savage is a deputy prosecutor engaged in an obsessive affair with a co-worker who's murdered. Shit's got Raul Julia in it. It's not the Adams Family or Street Fighter. It's, this must be wrongfully accused. Because it says he's wrongfully accused. Nope. <laughs> Give up. Presumed innocent! <laughs> oh... Come on, man. We were so close. Isn't wrongfully accused like the Leslie Nielsen, um, the fugitive parody? Yes. Uh, still, I love box office game, man. Box office game is always a good time. 
presumed innocent, or as they called it in Europe, street fighter. I'm going to kick <clears throat> line. I'm going to kick that son of a bitch bison's ass so hard, all the bison wannabes are going to feel it. We're going to kick that son of a bitch bison's ass so hard, all the bison wannabes are going to feel it. Something, the next bison one. <clears throat> We're going to kick that son of a bitch bison's ass so hard, the next bison wannabe is going to feel it. Why does it sound a little like Trump? Because I'm doing this. This M. Bison, we don't like him. We don't like M. Bison. He has drip. He's got riz. He's not rizless. Vega, Vega's a little rizless. We don't know what's going on with Vega, the mask, the claw climbing on the wall. They changed the Balrog and the M. Bison in the Japanese version to the American version, but it, much like Sleepy Joe, I don't know what's going on with that. We'll have to leave that one up to Screw Attack. Yes, we will. Handsome Tom, Stuttering Craig, we love their lore videos teaching us about the hobby. We know and love people. Robinson, Robinson, stoners. Fly Falcon, Tiny Time Travel, Jeff Goldblum, Time Travel, Horror, Wrestler, Kutcher, Kutcher, Time Travel, Horror, it's the butterfly effect, bro, it's the butterfly effect, bro, you're going to tell me he doesn't travel through time, oh, he astral projects into a younger version of himself, that's time travel, bitch, because he's got the same brain when he's put back in his younger body. That's his brain is traveling through time. The self is the brain. Himself is traveling through time. Is it a science experiment? No, he was like writing in a diary or something. Wrestler. Fly. Wrestler. Re Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Tiny stoners. Bowler hat. Bowler hat. Ashton Kutcher. Do bowler hat car. Jeff Goldblum car, science experiment car, horror car. It's Christine. I'm washed, guys. Solution. Ashton Kutcher, time travel butterfly. Can you downvote a puzzle? It's the butterfly effect. Can you downvote a puzzle? I get that this makes sense. Butterfly, Ashton Kutcher, time travel. The problem is it's a fucking horror movie. You rate it one star? I'm downvoting it. It's an ambiguous solution. It says, please rate this puzzle on the screen. It's more of a thriller. Bro, it's a horror movie. My guy said, wrestler fly. My impression of Apollo doing Cine to Nerdle. Oh, it's not District 9. Uh, take me to fucking the Legend of Zelda song doll dot CA. Do, 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 Oh, this is the special version of the Song of Storms that only appears in the Nintendo 3DS remake of Ocarina of Time. Fuck you. <laughs> Why'd you call it Ocarina? Because when I say Ocarina, everybody makes fun of me. I see Christopher Nolan films, mm, but do I see enough? I don't think I do. Batman Begins Interstellar, movies with Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Armageddon, Bruce Willis, Steve Buscemi, Michael Clark Duncan, Billy Bob Thornton, Liv Tyler, Ben Affleck. Ad Astra, Brad Pitt, directed by James Gray. Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt, Fifty Shades of James Gray. I don't know if he's read that. Brad Pitt, Sunshine. Killian Murphy, Killian Murphy, Killian Murphy, Killian Murphy, Killian Murphy, Killian Murphy, Killian Murphy. Ad Astra, Armageddon, Interstellar, movies about outer space. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey, they don't go into outer space. They do fly a jet. World War Z, they don't go into outer space. Iron Man does not go into outer space until the Avengers Part 1, when he has to stop the Chitauri warship in the Battle of New York City. I feel like maybe they don't go to outer space in Glass Onion, but maybe they do because Ed Norton is kind of like an Elon Musk type guy. Paranorman, I s son of a bitch. What have we done? 
Sunshine is an outer space movie. I've lost my mind. World War Z 20, horror films with zombies in them. Fifty Shades of Grey, okay, okay, okay. Outer space, Emily Blunt. Zombies, Interstellar, Batman Begins. They have Michael Caine. They're Christopher Nolan films. Edgerton, science fiction movies, science fiction, animated films. None of these are animated. This is Chris, this is not Christopher Nolan. This is the 28 Days Later, dude. Armageddon, Michael Bay. Michael Bay didn't do any of these, I'll tell you that much. Ad Astra, James Gray. They wouldn't, they wouldn't with Fifty Shades of Grey. I just don't believe it. What if movies predominantly in a non-English language? No, nope, not gonna happen. Movies with trains, movies with trains. I mean, Train to Busan, Girl on a Train. Batman Begins has a runaway train at the end of it. I've never seen The Girl on the Train. I don't know what this movie is about. I shouldn't have done this. Ensemble films. Ensemble films? Glass Onion, Armageddon. I'm washed. I, I literally can't make it. Just swap me then. What do we miss, man? Theme number five. Killian Murphy! <laughs> The one we were trying to get earlier. That one's on me. I'm going to IMDb. IMDb. Chat GPT. What genre is the butterfly effect? Science fiction thriller. Fuck you. Also known as a horror film. What does Wikipedia say? Genre. Science fiction thriller. What the di what's the difference between a thriller and a fucking horror movie? A lot, if we're talking about, like, the Manchurian Candidate. Horror is scary? Well, fucking, it's not a thriller either, because the butterfly effect's boring as hell. Is this a sponsored fucking John here? Terminator Dark Fate to Quiz Lady? You don't understand, by the way. I heard Quiz Lady is a perfectly cromulent film. If your movie's good... Release it concurrently in theaters at the same time that you release it on your streaming platform. Because otherwise, I just assume it's pure ass. Isn't this shit that you dump on streaming basically like you're saying this isn't going to make money in theaters? I'm like, well, if I wouldn't pay $10 to watch it in a theater, I'm sure as shit not going to watch it for free at home. Okay, so nostalgia bait. Quiz Lady. Quiz Lady stars Sandra O oh and Aquafina. <clears throat> Aquafina's in the Ocean's 8 movie. Aquafina's in Shang-Chi. Aquafina's in The Farewell. Sandra Oh, of course, in Sideways with Paul Giamatti. Have Paul Giamatti and Schwarzenegger ever done something together? It just seems, it seems to me like Paul Giamatti could have found himself in an Expendables movie as like a bad guy. Because he is in The Hangover 2, which is insanity. But anyway, is, is Arnold Schwarzenegger okay? Why is his picture from 1991? Uh, that's normally what they do when someone dies. Can somebody check on him and make sure he's okay? <laughs> How about around the world in 80 days? I don't know. It just seems like, it seems like a direction we could go into. Look at the cast, man. Both of the Wilsons. Kathy Bates. Guy with the ears. You know him. Richard Branson. Tall guy. Jim Broadbent, a great big bushy beard. You know what I'm talking about. How about give me a Steve Coogan? We're going to take Steve Coogan back to Tropic Thunder. From Tropic Thunder, we're going to find Paul Giamatti. <laughs> this doesn't seem like it's going to work. How about Thomas Hayden Church? Mm, that's easy. Hang on. Hang on. I know where we must go. Robert Downey Jr., well, there's an easy way. This is the most... It's insane that this is not a picture of Donald Trump. Like, that's what he was going for with this photo, right? That's his outfit, bro. You're wearing a costume. Toby Maguire. Okay, Toby Maguire. Where was I going with this one? I, had, I was cooking something. I was like, I need to find Toby Maguire. Why? Toby Maguire... <laughs> 
to to what motherfucker Toby Maguire to Spider-Man 1 Where am I? Joe Mangianello's in Spider-Man 1? Papa John's in this movie? I got something. Elizabeth Banks, 40-year-old virgin. I'm lost. <laughs> Romany e. Malco. We're going to take that straight back to the love guru. From the love guru. Okay, just remember, we're trying to get closer to Paul Giamatti on this one, okay? Paul Giamatti. Kind of a minefield of a cast list, huh? Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Justin Timberlake. Bad teacher. Sandra Bullock. John Michael Higgins. Couples retreat. Couples retreat. Kristen Davis. Deck the Halls, 2006. We're going to follow that back to a Matthew Broderick. Matthew Broderick, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. I, hang on, I had something. Jennifer Lawrence, Silver Linings Playbook. Bradley Cooper, The Hangover 2. Paul Giamatti. Sideways. Sandra O, oh, quiz lady. We will not be fucking sucked this year. <laughs> we will not be fucking sucked this year. Yo, they got time in this one now. They finally respect the metric that I shoot for. Oh, come on. Arnold Schwarzenegger, vote or miss out Will Ferrell quiz lady. You're telling me my ass would have to know that Will Ferrell's in Quiz Lady, which would mean I'd have to fucking see that shit. Then secondarily, I'd have to know what Vomo is? Come on. Vote or miss out. 2004, vote or die. We can't afford to let George W. Bush run this country for another four years. 2012, they were like, you'll regret it if you don't. You'll regret it. Listen, it's not, we're not getting people as motivated as we did eight years ago, but you'll probably regret it if you don't vote. You'll be missing out. You'll be sorry. I don't, uh, wait, I do know. This is SSX Tricky. Never mind. Metis Metacritic score of 87. This is Jack 2. Holy fuck, I'm crazy. <laughs> That's from my era. I never played it, but I, I know it. Okay, we haven't done Chrono Photo in a while. Chrono Photo pisses me off as people from Ohio are like, don't you know anything about world history? That was the great Cincinnati Riz Up of 1901. And I'm like, little bro, it's two people sharing a kiss outside of a water fountain. Nobody knows about that shit. Bro, you said Ireland was in London? They're literally like 100 kilometers apart, okay? That's like seeing Whistler in GeoGuessr and picking Vancouver. I'm not going to roast your ass for that. The, the fauna and the flora are exactly the same. They're two separate islands? Yeah, okay, why don't you play Tradle, motherfucker? Let me guess, you think Wallace and Fatuna are the same island? <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Yeah, yeah, it's the Solomon Islands. Could you be more specific? Shut the fuck up. Now this shit is like, this is a different world. That's how old it is. Also, people must have been losing their fucking fingers in this thing like twice a day. Look at this thing. Is, are they using this machine to craft these beautiful polished steel fabrications? That's insane. It's the most talented man I've ever seen in my entire life. This dude does look like he's about to pull out a Tommy gun and shoot the cameraman. Look at his face. What's crazy? I say this not to be rude. This guy is probably genuinely like 37 years old. Which is really funny. But 
he should be at the club. Oh, he should be at the club. I'm going to go ahead and say this is 1910 even. 1924, never mind. Shit got so safe by this time period, people are putting their hands in the machine. This is like nine different time periods of dudes, right? Like this is a guy who's been arrested for serial killing. This is like the first mayor of Park City, New Jersey. I don't know, this guy probably worked on the fucking Manhattan Project or something. This is Elvis. I don't like, I just, I can't look at that. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I got the heebie-jeebies from zooming in, man. I don't want to know what this guy got up to. He scared the shit out of me. Holy. Can somebody figure out who this guy is and if he ever did anything? I got some like Twin Peaks vibes. I don't know what's going on. Are they building a nuclear bomb? What's going on here? It's 1968, 1973, okay. What the fuck? What in the Ohio is this, man? Bass Pro Shops, Field of Streams, oh man. You can hear this kid breathing. <sighs> <laughs> Wait, okay, this is important. Somebody has a smartphone. But not everybody is on a smartphone. Ergo, I'm going to say this is 2013. 2022? What the, that's an iPhone 13, brother? I don't know. I'm in the Android ecosystem. Base, base. Hey, hold your base, okay? It's an 11 or newer, bro. I'm, I don't, I'm not in love with phones, okay? They're a tool I use in my life. I don't know. What, what iPhone are we on now? It came out in 2009 or something. I'm going to say we're on the iPhone 14, 15. Well, that's pretty smart. What is this? This guy looks like he's doing like a, a rap or something. Like he's doing a rap about push-ups to get people excited about joining the military. This shit is... Taiwan in 1993. Well, it's not a great performance. They're made of titanium now. What are you, do what are you doing in my chat, David Guetta? You shoot me down, but I won't fall because I am titanium. Bulletproof, nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. Shout out to his family. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. That was me on the original track, by the way. Skibbity Toilet Precursor. You know, if you play it backwards, it tells you to join the Air National Guard. Holy! This is Canada. That's my grandma. Could you guys please look away? St. Lawrence Islands National Park. Now, I'm not a big national park guy. I don't know where that is, but I do know that this bitch right here is the St. Lawrence. So I'm going to assume that Mallory... Look at that, Mallory Town right there. <laughs> oh, man. Now, I don't know if this is... the national. Maybe they've changed the national park. Let's just say it's, they've changed it to be Thousand Islands National Park. And then the Canadian flag changed in 1967. These young ladies, to me, look like it's the mid-1950s. It was 1949, but we were 197 meters away. We take those. American Gangster came to theaters 2007. And there's a, an enormous fire that, admittedly, I don't recall. Listen, I, don't, I know you can't see the text. It says, a brilliant film. Every bit as epic as The Godfather. Listen, okay? It's a good movie. Like, American Gangster is a good movie. Every bit as epic as The Godfather. Bro, this is not America. Even though it says American Gangster. Or maybe it was just... Like, 
I don't know how to describe it. These are not American automobiles. This is not American graffiti. This is not an American bus. Like that, this little, I don't know if you can see this character. That's throwing me. If you see this character right here when you're ordering sausage in a restaurant, get it, it's going to be good. But is this, is this Spain? Is this Portugal? Because the buildings look like the United Kingdom. What, this sign is like fucking Icelandic, bro. That's like, is this Finland? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I've said every country on earth now. At some point, we just got to be real with you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's the United Kingdom, and we're in Southampton, and this is the year 2007. I think the year's going to be good. I'm not sure. Oh, an empty warehouse in London. Okay. Not the best looking part of London. People from Ohio will be like, I thought it looked okay. I'm just messing with you, okay? Must have been different to be in a traffic jam in like 1922. Smelling those fumes. Yeah, you got half the cars don't even have like a damn roof or any windows. Explain? I don't know. I would just be like, I guess like if I had a car, I would be like, why did you guys get cars? You know, like the first dude who bought a car was probably like loving life. And then after that, when everybody else started buying cars, he was like, no, no. He had no roads. How did he get to Rome then? Also, road rage must have looked crazy in 1922. Can you imagine a little dust up after you have a fender bender? Anyway. I don't know. Nobody got any damn license. It looks so American, bro. Mos maybe not. Mosman Manly? Red Skelton is like an American comedian, right? This looks like America. Maybe it's England. Goodyear tires? No shot, bro. But why are they driving on the left? This is London, England. 1922. A traffic jam during a bus and tram strike in North Sydney. I got 12 points. That was Australia. The England of the Pacific. This is Barcelona. This is our 60-minute Dennis Morton power zone ride this morning after he called out three minutes in zone five. You know, can I just say something about this church, by the way? I feel like they would probably finish it if you guys stopped visiting while it was under construction. Like they have no incentive to finish it because you're giving them all your tourism dollars by going to visit it while it's under construction. If you would just be like, hey, we're going to Barcelona and we're not going to the Sagrada Familia, they'd probably be like, we got to come on, guys, get a move on, get a move on. Why is this in... Korean, did you see that? All right, this looks like it's from the modern day, 2018. 2023, cyclists skirting around the under construction, Sagrada Familia. That was not so bad, 35,000 points. Okay, we got to go a little faster because we're, we're starting to get over time. But these ones are all pretty quick. Nice looking house. A little bit too much space dedicated to the garage for my liking. I'm going to start the bidding at 350000 Cha-ching. <laughs> Told you we were going to go fast. Holy. <laughs> Crandon, Wisconsin. He knows real estate. Open parentheses. In Crandall, Wisconsin. Today I'd like to go from Greenland to Argentina. Okay. 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 We go Brazil. We go Colombia. We go Panama. Now shit gets a little fucky. I know we're going to have a Mexico in there. And we'll fill in the gap later. United States of America. Canada, which borders Greenland. Greenland. 
Honduras. Guatemala. Nicaragua. Costa Rica. Yes! Green, green. Flight reacts voice. Irish spring green green green. And then Kingsman. The secret oh fuck. One world one word title. Uh, uh, atonement? Is he an atonement? That sounds like a Colin Firth book. No. He's not an atonement. Amanda Seyfried, one word title. <gasps> Splice! Spl I forgot about you. Oh, that's Sarah Polly! <laughs> Most popular correct guesses. 1917. What? That's like three words. That's no words. <laughs> okay, I got one more in me and then we're done. Assuming this one works. Support free content. I do. I do. I do. I do support free content. Launch me. Holy. Okay. No, no, no. I don't support free content. When I supported free content and you put two pillar boxed ads for Depeche Mode going on tour, I said, okay. But then you got a damn unskippable open table ad in the bottom right of the screen. I just want to tell you what movie that Maya Rudolph and Melissa McCarthy were in together, okay? I'm sorry. And now you're refreshing the ads every two seconds you want to get... No, you're cut! Crossovergrid.com slash movies. Right click. Remove bookmark. You got too greedy with it. We had a good thing going. Till you had to mess it all up, Walter. Hey, Peloton riders, did you see the dude in the damn button up on the ride today? Little bro was dying. He realized he ain't built for this. He's wearing a button up shirt and dress pants on the damn bike. 60 minute power zone ride. Three minutes. Five minutes zone four, three minutes zone five, one minute zone six. Bro said, hang on, let me put on my Sunday best. He was, he was sweating uh, buckets, man. I love dress shirts on the bike because you can open the front. You're crazy. That's... Your ass in zone one, bro. Nobody's out here What you wearing the Blink-182, all the small things drip. I'm budding in the buttons during the ride. Because trust me, that is not flattering once you go arrow. She's live. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, I owe you a joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because? Worth it. Indiana. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to play, but I'll see you then. Later. Yeah, yeah. Me at my kids. 14th birthday party. I'm like a cool dad drinking a seltzer. How you kids doing? Anybody need a ride? You wanna go home? They're talking about R rated movies. You don't wanna be uncomfortable? We just recently let you watch PG 13s. No, I haven't seen Scream 2. I heard it's very gory. Good for you. Uh, please fade out. I can't keep this going forever. Bars, bars, bars.